In our previous videos, we talked about using the lower of cost or market rule to value inventory. And in order to use the lower cost or market rule, we first need to know what the market price was. And we use the middle value of the replacement cost, the net realizable value, or the net realizable value minus a normal profit. So of those three different values, we chose the value in the middle, the middle value, to represent our market value and then we compared that to the the original cost of the inventory and took the lower number and that was our inventory valuation but we really didn't get a lot of, into a lot of detail about what net realizable value is and so I just want to walk you through briefly in this video an example so you so you'd understand so our technical definition if we think about what net realizable value or NRV is it's the expected sales price so the sales price we are anticipating that we will get per unit or per for this inventory minus minus any costs that will be necessary to complete the sale and so costs we're talking about to complete the sale are costs going forward right forget about the past just going forward any costs that are going to be necessary to get this inventory from the shelf into a customer's hand so for example a sales commission right so if we if we're going to incur a sales commission cost uh, for the unit or for selling a car or something we have to pay the person that sold the car then there's going to be a cost there to complete the sale also if there's any kind of packaging cost or anything like that if it's an item that we're going to be shipping so so let's just walk through a, a quick example and make it a little easier to understand so let's say that you have a hundred units of inventory sitting on the shelves and you expect you think that you're going to sell this inventory for twenty five dollars a unit right so that's our expected selling price that's our expected sales price and so now we need to know about costs necessary to complete this sale and see if there's anything we need to deduct so you're gonna to have to pay seven dollars commission per unit to your salespeople uh, assuming that the, you sell this inventory right so you sell a unit for twenty five dollars you're gonna incur a commission of seven dollars right now you also are gonna incur a one dollar unit in packaging costs right one dollar per unit and packaging costs so now let's go ahead and calculate our net realizable value so we're just going to take again this expected sales price which in this case is $25 let's put parentheses here because we're gonna have a lot so $25 and then we subtract we're gonna subtract out the cost to complete the sale so we've got this seven dollar commission so it's minus seven and then we've also got this one dollar per unit and packaging cost so minus one Okay. And then we just take that and we multiply that by 100. And the reason be 100 because we have 100 units of inventory. So we want to get the total, total net realizable value of all this inventory. And that's going to be 1700. 1700. Because if we just think about it on a per unit basis, this 25 minus 7 minus 1, uh, we're going to have 17. So that's 17 is our net realizable value per unit, but we have 100 units. So our total net realizable value for this inventory is $1,700.